Well, hello, one and all. Welcome back to SideQuest, and welcome back to the very scary woods. First batch of woods I've yet encountered that were too scary for my horse, who is a ghost. Really feels like it's saying something. Okay, I... Usually I probably wouldn't, but... Stay calm, so to speak, try parrying. Behold, monstrosity. Yeah. Oh, we got Frenzy. We got Frenzy down here. Wow, I haven't seen Frenzy in a bit. I see, I see, I see. Messages ahead, and then message ahead. Wow, this is a very fun callback. <laughs> Be wary of Lord. Okay, that's... I thought, so hey, uh, when, years ago, when Dan, Jones, and I were playing Dark Souls 2, I found a lovely string of messages. You know, I won't spoil it, I'll find the clip and put it up here. Someone put a lot of messages on the road. <laughs> Hang on, I need to, this looks like a, it's going to be a treat. It's just like a Reese's Pieces string of messages down this whole path. Visions of message, enemy ahead. Message ahead, and then message. <laughs> message ahead. <laughs> Weakness. Message. <laughs> Look carefully. Message. Visions of message. Hurrah for message. Hurrah for message. Try message. Message ahead. Hurrah for message, and then message ahead. Chance required ahead. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed that a lot. Thank you, Dark Souls community. Very good. Sometimes you pull through. And I thought for a second we might be in for a sequel, and we kind of almost were. <laughs> but then, to their credit, some of the other messages decided they were actually going to be maybe a little bit helpful. Yeah, the uh, wildlife being frenzied, even the wildlife, is an issue. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, well. Are they all frenzied, or just some? That explains also the... patterns on the walls and such. It's all coming together. Yeah, y'all get out of here. Why am I not getting hit by the frenzy now? Is it just if they are... if I'm near them and they're looking at me? Why did that happen before? Hey. Nope. Yeah, bigger. Eesh. You get dead. Yikes. Not ideal. That didn't go at all as planned. Does explain why... Torrent's not coming out, though. If even the wildlife, all the wildlife... ...is frenzying up a storm in this place. Then that's concerning. Am I getting frenzy just by getting looked at by you guys? No? Why was I before? What was targeting me? Huh. Now I am confused. Weird. Very weird. I thought I saw a shiny down here. Where'd it go? Maybe I was just seeing the messages. Huh. Now I'm all nervous. And slightly intimidated.
Frisbee's doing good damage, though. Okay, fine. Where's the bigger one? You. Big Frisbee, catch! Less damage than I hoped. Yeah. Probably better to go back to melee for this one. Okay. I see you. Come here. And you. Hey. What are y'all hiding up here? Nothing. You could have said that. Rats. Does feel like there's more off kind of to this side of the road, too. I should probably at least take a glance. Excuse me. Sort of a liquid effect. Okay, yeah, it is water. Of some sort. Is the water safe to be in? Good, okay. Yeah, I don't trust anything. Don't want to just make assumptions down here. Tell you what I would like to have, though. That map. That's where we need to be headed. We can explore more thoroughly. Once we've got an idea of what the terrain looks like. Eh. We're gonna get surrounded and overwhelmed very easily here if we're not careful, and I don't know if single target attacks are the way to go. Especially if I'm gonna be attacking over them so often. Yeah, I don't love having this many. Yipes. Problem. Quite a problem overall. Okay, that sort of thing is better. The big swipes definitely help. Whew, okay. It's fine. Yeah, let's stay on the road leading us this way for the moment. Um. Hmm. Against my better judgment, I will continue walking forward. Hi there. Madding hand. Oh my. Glad you decided to turn around. Yipes. Oh, that is a problem, huh? Oh boy. Yeah, you kind of won that trade. Yipes, that's bad. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, we're gonna need to keep you bullied. We're gonna, we're coming in with claws. We have found a dangerous area. Possibly because we're, like, who knows, maybe we're here a bit before it was expected one would arrive here. Although, I mean, you can... It's, it's kind of hard to tell, right? You can... You can venture down here if you happen to find that, uh, illusory wall in the keep. The illusory wall is very early in the keep. Which makes it feel like the sort of detour that, uh, wouldn't necessarily be taking you someplace you're not ready to handle, but... Well, nice having a place to go back to if we feel out of our depth. But I am so curious about this place. If I can be bullying you before you can... Okay, it's not enough. Not enough to stop you. At least your range on that isn't too bonkers. But yeah, I don't know if the claws are going to be enough. Yeah. The damage on that, though. It's real good. Yeah! Whew, thank goodness. Madding hand. Awesome. Explain yourself. A glove stitched together from the flayed skin of the victims of a butcherous bloodbath. Afflicts target with madness. Raises attack power when madness is triggered in the vicinity. Forged of an unyielding black impulse toward revenge fostered in those who were hunted down as heretics by their own brethren. These are the weapons of the utterly downtrodden. The matting spear hand strike makes hand into the shape of a spear before unleashing a plunging stab that penetrates the body of the enemy, afflicts foe with a large dose of madness. That is a heck of a thing. I don't know that I want to use it, but... Boy, that is a heck of a thing, though. I will stick with Bear Communion. Thank you very much. And now we have a little bit of an understanding of what's going on down here. Seems the Realm of Shadow kind of had their own merchant class. Like the way the merchants were persecuted in Landale and sort of became a seedbed for frenzy. Kind of seems like Bellarot had something very similar. Oh, it's just a rat. Okay. You scared me, rat. Don't do that. Would there be something better to... Yeah, I could try this. Pretty good damage. There we go. What have we here? Might be a better slashing weapon to be using against these short targets in great abundance. Almost definitely. But we're close to our map. And a place... I am so curious about. The Abyss. A map of the Abyss at the east of the Gravesite Plain. A thick forest sprawls at the depths of the ravine that is untouched even by sunlight, known as the Sanctum of Sage Midra, and as a region forbidden by the Hornscent. 
I see. And now... Yeah! Scary. Yeah, this is a whole place and thing. Hmm. Yeah, all this here and more of it down this way. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Let's keep poking around. I feel like the name Midra has come up at least once on something. Some description. At some point. Thank you. Doesn't hurt having a couple more. Not enough to, um... Hey, there is enough. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah, it's so intimidating down here. <laughs> There's some of that eye of yellow. Been a bit since we saw that. Was there anywhere? I'm trying to remember now. Did we... Did I find Eye of Yellow anywhere else? In the Realm of Shadow. I feel like... There was like one little location that was probably like near to here. But like higher up or something that maybe I found one or two. And didn't think much of it. I honestly didn't, like, I almost completely forgot about Frenzy as a narrative element. I didn't expect to find, uh, more Frenzy connections down here, but it kind of does make a degree of sense. We have found, like, so many traces of major players in the lands between. From Landell to those living in death to... Mages of Raya Lucaria and the Karians. Vulgar militia are down here. There were some beasts in Misbegotten as well, I think. Demi humans. Scarlet rot and the pests. Most everyone's had some interest down here. Or some parallel. Oh, there's Frenzy off y'all now. That's a new element for y'all, too. Which all are the Inquisitors, though? Y'all getting affected by this as well, at this point. Boy, what a good sword this is. I really like it. does sort of feel like something. Probably isn't, but... I wonder... if I still... had kind of the frenzy within me, if I hadn't effectively undone that. Would it change anything down here? I imagine no, but... I do wonder, like, how many connections there are... between the DLC and the stuff that happens in the base game. Is there new dialogue on any characters in the base game based on what you have or haven't done down here, or vice versa? I assume no, but especially given how much, like, uh, 
Mikola and various figures are involved in all this. Like... Seems like there'd be an opportunity to... slightly alter... Melania's dialogue, if you've... found out what's going on... with Mikola. Just as, like, one example. I think I've already been up. Well... I don't know, I'm getting myself turned around. Just seeing what I can find. Okay. So this is what we traveled down through to get down here, wound up here. That's sort of like the boss arena. No, no, the boss... Yeah, yeah, it was. Boss arena here, the Forsaken Graveyard, and then we traveled down here, got to that one, and have now managed to travel down this way. And haven't found... Other than this abandoned church, haven't found a whole lot of significance... yet. Which probably means... time to start looking out this way. Heck, there could be more hidden under here, too. Very possible. Yeah, now I think it's time to start heading westward. And trying to keep an eye out. There could be caves. And with how dark and foggy it is down here, it'd be very easy for them to escape my notice. Wouldn't surprise me if one already has. The vibes are so spooky, though. Because they really didn't make you deal with a whole lot of, uh... Frenzy-type threats in the base game. There were like... There were some enemies and a few little areas, a few little patches in the open world where Frenzy had kind of taken hold. And then the, uh... stuff kind of underneath Lendell, leading down to the Three Fingers, but... Beyond that, not tons. Get dead. So having a whole part of the map that is much more frenzy flavored feels much more intimidating. There's you. Good jumps, but I don't think it's going to save you. Nope. I still love how inexpensive this spell is. The frisbee. Fantastic damage for the cost. Especially considering the range. These walls feel really noteworthy as well. Hmm. Nah, no. Bad rat. Yeah, that R2 attack works great on the rats. Better than the R1, anyway. Okay. Okay. 
I'd like to get up here. I feel like we're going to find more settlements. I'm still curious what on earth was hitting me with frenzy randomly when I first started walking down here. I still haven't entirely connected the dots on that one. Because it hasn't happened since without, like, a physical attack or spell being cast at me. Anything up here? Seems like no. I feel like I've been covering so much ground and I really haven't. <laughs> Just been kind of going practically in circles in this little stretch. And there's not been a whole lot to find other than many, many rats. I should look. In the interest of thoroughness. Come on, rat. Rat. Please. There we go. And each swing takes so little, uh... Oop, hello. So little, uh... Endurance, so little stamina, rather. With the Milady as well. There's so much going for it. Got you, and... You, there we go. That's a new item. And the name worries me slightly. Isn't this the same term for that particular really nasty enemy in Bloodborne? It's close, if it's not literally the same. The Winter Lantern Fly. A winged insect carrying a dangling, frenzied flame grape. Material used for crafting items. Flies lazily around the Abyssal Forest, said to be heralds of the aging untouchable. On seeing these, the wise know to stay well clear of that place. And I'm heading further in, which... says a lot. The game is subtweeting me. Shinies, though, that's something. Those will probably come in handy. So we're still here. I feel like I'm not moving at all. Covered so much ground heading south. And then couldn't escape the orbit. Of this little corner. One thing is for sure, this this place is going to go from manageable and not chill, but like manageable danger to extreme danger real fast. And I don't know when that switch is going to happen, but it is definitely coming. No question. Just a matter of time.
Nice and easy. Methodical. This is the same little Reese's Pieces trail I followed down here. Let's break off in a westerly direction and keep following, I guess. That's also bad. That, yeah, yeah, that's... This one worries me more. Yeah. They wouldn't. Yo, <laughs> that's scary. Don't do that. They brought him back. They actually brought him back. That Oh, gosh. That looks amazing and terrifying and... Oh, no. They went and did it. They brought back the scariest Bloodborne enemy. I see now why the tall grass is here. It's time for stealth. What an amazing looking thing. Absolute nightmare. Turn around again. Okay. No oh boy. This is doing nothing. I don't think I was doing damage to it either. Oh dear. Physical attacks might not, uh, do a lot. Perhaps spells? Possibly spells. It might be these are literally just an unkillable hazard that we need to, uh... Sneaky sneak our way past. If nothing else, we found... the spot... where this area goes from manageable... to scary. Really incredible looking, though. Just gotta grab these one more time. And then... Really hoping this works. It sure don't. Run! Eh, the madness do be building up, though. Yipes. Time to run. And now we're kind of surrounded, so yeah, I think this might be a stealth situation. Darn, those look cool, though. What an amazing design. And yeah, I can't seem to do damage to them by conventional means, at least. So let's, um... Let's start being stealthy. I feel reasonably confident something will kill these. But I don't feel like trying... everything in my toolkit. 
for an entire episode. Because it's entirely possible. I'm wrong, and nothing would kill these. These are just a stealth hazard. But stealth is pretty generous in Elden Ring, so... I'm fine with that. Sneaking tends to work. Thought for a second I saw the group message thing, alas. What are these taller flowers, though? They're interesting. Oh, they make noise and give me away. Not ideal. Yeah, lost me. All right. Don't bump into those. Got it. Yipes. We're just going to move slow, steady, and careful. Especially anywhere we're seeing tall grass that should be used for cover. I think we're out of the worst of it for the moment, though. I love that we did find the Winter Lantern item teasing, like, foreshadowing just slightly what we're in for. Just reminding us of the existence of a past terrifying enemy. Not for any particular reason, just, hey, remember that time? Those things, those were scary and hard, huh? At least there haven't been any of those, am I right? Okay. Getting foggy. Didn't miss anything of interest up here, though, right? Just to be sure. Okay. Okay. Extremely ominous down here. Okay. That's... Ah. Uh, hi, where'd you come from, exactly? I didn't... Okay. I'm just gonna keep a running. Don't appreciate you being so speedy. Rude of you. Just gonna keep following me, huh? Goodness. Hmm. Okay, that thing just must be in the fog, and what you're needing to do is uh, keep sneaking as you go through it and try to be real quiet. So that you do not alert it to your presence. Let me get back to that point and see how well that strategy works. Whew, 
Okay. All right. I, I got through the first part. I haven't gone to the uh, foggy area again, but I noticed there was a little bit more north I could uh, go in sort of the safety area between. And I'm very relieved to find this. Because having to do that stealth <laughs> attempt multiple times and possibly doing it wrong would make for quite a lengthy return trip each time. Okay. So we got this variant of it, which is another kind of open space stealth challenge. That's one option. But just because my runes are more down this way, and I'm curious to see if I can, like, find the actual solution this time. Let's try the fog again, but sneaky this time. Is there any grass in there to hide in? Because it sure doesn't seem like it. I wonder. So, okay. That's not helping in this fog. So if we sneak carefully... And try to watch for problems. Maybe. We can get really lucky. There, that's there it is. Maybe we can get really lucky and spot it before it spots us. There it is. Is it patrolling or is it just standing still? Still. Okay. Maybe this is safer. This does seem to be the way to go, though. Slow and steady, pay attention. Hugging this wall is not going to stay the safe option the whole way through, I'm pretty sure, so... Very frightening still. But we're coming out of the fog. I think we made it. Got that at least. Let me, um, hide in this little nook for a second. Just in case we're about to get in over our head, let's, uh, use one of these. Just so we don't have to go back using this same route next time if we want to try something else to recover runes. But I think we're out of the stealth section for a moment. Probably not long, though. Hey, rat. Boy. 
If only I was only dealing with you. Where are we now? Here, okay. Boy, I don't blame Torrent for calling in sick. Horse made the right move. Head on a swivel out here. Yeah, no new area feels even remotely safe-ish anymore. <laughs> now every new little scrap of land is a stealth section that I might not have recognized in time. Though it does feel nice to be able to turn that same fear on these two. Bear attack! Ow. Don't do that. Yes. You think you all are bringing fear down here? You know nothing. I bring the fear of bears. And if I find a frenzied bear down here, boy, I'm going to be very upset. This feels like the sort of place a boss might decide to appear, and I don't like it. Yeah, this feels like the sort of place that might turn into an arena on me. Maybe not, though. Maybe things are okay, actually. <sighs> Nerve-wracking. Divided falls, huh? Oof. Well. There's more to explore around here for sure. We're going to need to continue it on Thursday, though. Have a good one, y'all. And I will see you then for more of this and definitely some more fear. Bye. Bye.